Okay, so big news in the horror space. I mean, it's just been the year four. I've said this, I think, numerous times already. I think I'm getting tired of saying it, but 2022 is going to go down as one of the best years in horror, period. So let's get into some of the ultimate news that we got today, which is, of course, first and foremost, Hellraiser just got its teaser trailer. We also got a trailer for Goodnight Mommy, and we have a release date and as well new images for Halloween Ends. And let's get into all of this, but before we do, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers. At 25,000, we will do a giveaway, so make sure you're subscribed. But let's talk about the Hellraiser teaser, because that's what I've been the most excited about today. This is coming to us straight from Hulu. We will be getting the Hellraiser movie on, I mean, just think about it. October 7th, we're getting Hellraiser. October 14th, we're getting Hellraiser. Halloween ends. It is just an amazing time for horror and October is already going to be jam-packed because September is already coming jam-packed which we'll talk about in a bit but I truly feel that we are in a golden age for horror now and it had been lacking for some time but we're back again for sure. Jamie Clayton will be taking on the role as the Hell Priest and I'm excited for this. This is going to be also produced by Clive Barker which just tells you that they are definitely going to put this into the right direction. So besides that this little teaser that we got today doesn't really reveal much we see a little sneak peek of jamie clayton as the hell priest but we don't really see a clear image i'm assuming a trailer will come out pretty soon if not in this week probably next week and by that time all of us are going to be raving about this movie i'm pretty sure about that we already talked about the rating it got over there on the podcast so go check it out if you haven't already but we definitely did enjoy that it is going to go full r because that's exactly where we need hellraiser to go so let's read the synopsis for this. A young woman struggling with addiction comes into possession of an ancient puzzle box. And we know where this is going already. Puzzle box, ancient, it ain't gonna end good, right? Unaware that its purpose is to summon the Xenobites, a group of sadistic supernatural beings from another dimension. And I'm just ready for this. I'm ready to see it in all of its glory and see exactly what Hulu's gonna bring to the table. Fresh is already one of the movies they started off this year strong. Then we had Prey, and it continues on and on and on. I think Hulu is definitely right up there with HBO Max when it comes to content, and both of those services definitely know how to give the best content. Speaking of HBO Max, they are working on their own Hellraiser TV series, and that also as well has Clive Barker attached, so it's a good time for all of our pinhead um movies and tv shows right so anyways that's all there is for hellraiser right now we'll be updating as soon as we get more information but let's move on to goodnight mommy who we got a trailer for just this morning as well it's been a great morning like i said so goodnight mommy is a remake of the 2014 australian horror film that was a masterpiece in my opinion i wasn't sure if i wanted a remake or not when i heard about it i was a little skeptical it sort of gave me vibes of let the right one in where a film was just so well done that i don't think it needed to be remade just yet especially so quick into the game it's not even been out for a decade and it's already getting a remake but we know how things go in Hollywood. This one stars Naomi Watts and is coming to us from Amazon. And Amazon really does give us caliber stuff, like high caliber. So I'm not worried about it. And I think Naomi Watts is a great actress as well. I won't spoil anything for Goodnight Mommy. Definitely check out the original if you haven't. I will be revisiting it after eight years this week. So stay tuned for that. And I'll probably do a video on all of that. So if you want to go check it out before that, I'll probably do the video on Monday. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, this is a great trailer, honestly. It really gives me the same beats and feeling that the original had. And I'm excited to see it once it's fully out. This is coming to us pretty soon as well. It's coming out September 16th on Amazon Prime Video. So I'll definitely be checking it out once it does come out. And I'm excited for it because I thought the original was great. And I was a little skeptical, like I said. But now seeing this trailer, I'm a believer in Goodnight Mommy from Amazon. So we'll see exactly what they want to bring to the table with this. But overall, I'm excited for it. It and I cannot wait. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. And if you've watched the original Goodnight Mommy, what do you think about this one in the comments down below? It looks great, like I said. And let's get on to the final piece of news here, which is Halloween Ends is coming straight to us onto Peacock as well as theaters in the same day. And at first, I was just a little worried and skeptical about it because I think after what we saw, what happened with Orphan First Kill, where that movie went on to make a pretty good amount of money at theaters. And you just wonder if it was just really straight to theaters, a little bit more marketing, how much would it have actually made? That is a big question. We don't know the answers to it, but I feel like it would have made a pretty good amount of change there. So I am definitely worried that Halloween ends releasing and Peacock could actually hinder it. But I feel like sort of it being the finale and all of that 
most people i think would just go out and see it in theaters anyways if they have the chance and i think that they definitely know that because the last one was done the same way where it released the same day on peacock as it did in theaters and it still went on to make a pretty good amount at the box office so it's an interesting thing that universal is doing here and i'm not going to blame them for it because i think it's proves to them that it works and of course with streaming services and everything now you want to have these big releases that get people flocking to the app but at the same time what like difference does it make having this amazing movie be released when you don't fill it up with the good content not that peacock's not doing that but i'm just saying with a lot of streaming services that we see today so we'll see what happens how this strategy works out for peacock and i'm excited to see this movie nonetheless looks great i like the little uh, trailer and video that we got from Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode and also I like the fact that we got a new poster that looks incredible so overall I'm excited for Halloween ends and I think this spooky season has just proven to be such a great one for sure so check out all my other videos if you haven't already I've talked about Terrifier 2 yesterday as well as my podcast dropping yesterday we will be dropping the podcast on YouTube today so it should be out by the time you're watching this but let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything horror like I said I'm excited the Hellraiser news was my favorite one today. I also am excited for Goodnight Mommy and also Halloween Ends. But let me know your thoughts and opinions on all of the things we just talked about. What do you think about Hellraiser? What do you think about Goodnight Mommy? What do you think about Halloween Ends? Which one are you most excited for? Let me know in the comments down below. But as I've been saying on the podcast and on other videos, let me know what's your favorite found footage horror film. I will be doing a video on found footage horror films and also talking about it on the podcast tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And I'm just curious to see what everybody thinks about that. So comment it down below. But anyways, as always, that's going to do it for me. Like I said, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure that notification bell's on. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers. At 25,000, we will do a giveaway. So don't miss out on that. As always, I'll see you all next time. Stay safe. Stay if you made it all the way to the end, I really appreciate you. Make sure you check out all our other videos as well. Like I said, our podcast is already on Buzzsprout, but we will be uploading a video here on YouTube with the podcast as well if you don't want to go check it out over there. But it would really mean a lot if you go over there and download it because we're trying to get to a certain amount of downloads because that's when we can really start to push out a lot more things. So make sure you check us out wherever you can. And like I said... Make sure you're hitting that notification bell and that subscribe button here on YouTube because we're trying to get to 25,000 subscribers. We are so close to 24,000. Hopefully we can get there in the next couple of days. But as always, that's going to do it for us. We'll see you next time. Stay safe. Stay positive.